Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do some more basic JavaScript. We're going to use escape sequences and strings. This is um, actually very useful stuff. Quotes are not the only characters that can be escaped inside a string. There are two reasons to use escaping characters. First is to allow you to use characters you might not otherwise be able to type out, such as a backspace key. Second is to allow you to represent multiple quotes in a string without JavaScript misinterpreting what you mean. We learned this uh, in the previous challenge. And so they have uh, a backslash for a single quote, a double quote. This is a uh, backslash would, uh, yeah, this is kind of like a comment in JavaScript, but if you do it in a string, it just shows a backslash. New line is basically like pressing enter. Uh, carriage return, I don't know what that is, tab, uh, backspace, and form feed. Okay, cool. So what they're asking for us to do is to align the following three lines of text into a single variable, my string, using escape sequences. Uh, so we want it to be first line and then a backslash with, well, we want to go first line. We want to write the string first line, and then we want to make a new line, and then we want to make a tab key, and then we want to make a backslash, and then we want to make a second line, and then we want to make a new tab, and then we want to write third line. And we want to encapsulate that all in a string right here. Uh, here's the text. Uh, here's the text with the escape sequence written out. First line. Oh, cool. So they actually write it out kind of the way that you need to do that. So we're going to come over here and we want to say, we want to set the variable of my string to be equal to um, a string, so double quotes, and we're going to do um, first, first line, uh, and then a new line is this guy. A new line, we're going to roll up here, we can see new line is um, right here, so the uh, forward slash n. And then uh, we want to do a tab, which means a forward slash t. And then we want to do a backslash. So that's just a forward slash, forward slash. OK, and then we're going to write second um, line. And now we want to make another new line. So we're going forward slash n, and then third line. Um, and if we run the test, this should pass. OK, cool. Now, uh, let's see. We can. Uh, I'm going to say console.log. And then if we do that to my string, um, this will print out here and you can see this is oh we don't actually have to do this they're already printing it out so you can see this is the the result first line second line third line so that's that's what comes out here this matches that and that's essentially what we're trying to do um, you know you can be like my string too if you wanted to play with this a little bit more you could say enter um, a single quote if you wanted a string that was just a simply a single quote and then we could console.log my string two. And you see it prints out just that single quote. And then I could say like my name in quotes. Um, and then I just uh, comment it out and give it another or a escape line. And then I have this like in in quotes or so, something like that. And so you could say, uh, and then he said, if you were doing some sort of a narrative project, you could be like, And then this kind of gives you a strength to be able to format strings differently. So if you wanted these um, single lines, ooh, I wonder if the single lines would work inside of a string if we named, named it with a single line. Okay, so we issued this, sing, this quote, this string with just single quotes in here, and you can see that that messes it up. So if we um, put this to single line quotes, and then we set this, oh, does that work? Oh yeah, so you can use single line quotes, uh, you can escape single quotes, even within single quote string declarations like this. Um, again, I'm just going over some basic ideas on how to think about this uh, so that it's a little bit more clear than maybe uh, the automa somebody who just passed the test would get it. Um, I'm not really sure what happens if you do the backspace. I think, does the backspace cause it to... I'm not understanding what the backslash, does, or no. Oh, that's the backslash. What does the backspace do? Hmm. I don't know what the backspace does. It doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, okay, cool. And then, wow, slash form? A form feed? What does that do? I don't know what form does either. But anyways, I hope that this helps. The backslash is just simply escaping out to add this slash. So just think about this as a, as a way to quickly get out of a string and do something. Um, this, the new line one is really useful, especially when you're creating logs. Did you see how at the end of Ian, it just added a new space in here? And we could do another one. This is helpful if you're doing like debugging and you want to at make your um, 
make your, your debug sort of console readouts really clear. So this is actually really helpful. I recommend playing around with this and creating your own uh, variables. But uh, that's it for this one. We're passing the tests. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.